Okay, I'm going to show you how to do um, the Farrah Fawcett hairdo kind of look with a flat iron on yourself. Um, I usually just get my hair, either let it air dry or blow dry it straight, and then um, I just take the bottom section a little bit above my ears, and then I pin the top up with a clip. Just clip that out of the way. So then I take the back and I split it into two sections and bring it around forward. So with these curls, everything on my left side is going to go this way, away from my face. And everything on the right side is going to go away from my face this way. So both sides are going to go around back. Um, so on, on your right side, if you're right handed, when you do your left side, you're going to be turning it upside down. And then you just turn it, and I kind of just hold the end right there so that the hair stays on the flat metal part, and I just kind of pull it slowly out. And it will give you a curl. Um, try not to comb through them until they're cooled off. Take your next section. I usually can get three sections for each side on the bottom part. So you have your flat iron like this over your head. And it just makes it easier when you pull out. If you were trying to do it this way and go backwards, it just is too hard. So on your left side, you're going to be putting your hand over your head if you're right-handed. So you make sure the hair's on the middle plates, wrap it around underneath, straighten it out, and then just slowly pull it. And this will help you keep the hair on the plates. If it slips up or down and falls out, then it won't curl right. All the way through the ends. Then grab your last section on this side. You're going to put your hand behind your head. Same thing. Wrap it around. And just pull this straight out. On the right side, it's a lot easier. Because you can keep your flat iron up and down. You don't have to flip it upside down. So it's going to be straight up and down. Grab your first section. Turn it away from your face. Pull underneath. So you're just holding this end of hair where you want it to stay by the plates so that it doesn't fall out. And when you get towards the end, you just pull it all the way through. Do the same thing, flip it, grab it underneath. You don't have to get it really close to your scalp because it will be like a bend mark if you try to put the flat iron too close to your head. Just start like an inch away. The thicker your hair, the slower you should probably go on this curl. If you have really thin hair, you can go a little bit faster. All right, so now that the bottom's done, I'm gonna just let the whole top down. And I always start in the front and I just kind of pull Pull all the hair forward and separate it from the curled part underneath. And then I'll start up here on the bangs. I always just grab a chunk of hair on my left side. And then once again, you're going to put the flat iron upside down. And you're going to go away from your face and just pull it straight out. Okay, and then you're going to grab your next section. And if it's really thick like this, you can split it into two and just drop that and do that one next. So I'm going to do this one. Flip the end underneath and make sure it straightens out so it doesn't have any bends in it. Okay, as you get towards the back, it's easy just to kind of see which ends are not curled. You can kind of just pick them up. And you're going to put the flat iron upside down on this side. And just slowly pull it out. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about the back anymore on this side. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the front. And if you have um, bangs or a little bit more 
If you want a little bit more flip back in them, you can go through and just kind of redo anything you want there. There you go. All right, so then you're gonna switch to this side and your flat iron's gonna be up and down again. With the right way, not upside down. And just go ahead and, and I kind of just shake and pull my flat iron a little bit if it gets stuck. Just work from the front down. Okay, so at this point, I usually get a mirror just to check how much of the back is not done yet. And if I see any long pieces, I can just grab them. Any pieces that aren't curled. So it looks like that's pretty much it right there. Yep, so I just hold this section in my hand. I might need a little bit of a brush. And if it's too thick to do it all in one, I can split it in two and just kind of roll it back around front so I know where it is. And then this one I'm going to do this way. And then I'm going to just grab the other half of that chunk and I'll do it this way. Oops, let's grab that one more time. Okay. There you go. Just finish pulling it out. Okay, so once you have all your curls, you can take a brush, if, if they're all cooled off, doesn't feel like there's any more hot ones, and you just kind of brush through it. Okay, so after you brush through all of the, the curls, they're going to look kind of fluffy. I like this stuff. It's called um, Bedhead After Party. It's just a smoothing cream. And I just put a little bit in my hand and put it on kind of like lotion and just smooth it through all the hair. It takes care of all of the little frizzies and it shines it up. Makes it look really nice. All right, and then after that, you're done.